I was able to actually use a flag to uh, understand exactly where that signal was coming from at uh, KB9AX's house in 18 megahertz. That's the back side of the flag right now I've got. I could reduce the RF gain, but we'll just leave it up there for right now. You can hear the noise level. Rotate the antenna. You can just see how strong it got. And rotate that way. Here we'll rotate around. Back side. Come back around. And I'm using the get a video here of the uh, portable flag. It's two foot tall by four foot wide. And I don't even have the I don't have the extension. I can just uh, carry it by hand. And you can hear the interference. I'm gonna rotate around. Interference is gone. And what it's pointing at is this light pole right here. There's the back side of the pennant, or the flag, front side of the flag. And uh, we'll walk past it. And as we walk past it, matter of fact, we'll turn the back side of the flag to it. And then we'll walk down the drive here a little bit. So we got the back side of the flag at it right now. Come back around here. There we go. KB9AX contacted the homeowner and they told us where the breaker is for these uh, sodium lights. Apparently they were hit by lightning a couple years ago. And I'm going to kill the breaker. Uh, you can listen to the radio when I kill the breaker. Okay, that was the breaker I just turned off. Turn the breaker back on. That's our uh, interference. This case is closed. There's the antenna pointed toward the uh, faulty uh, sodium light fixture. You can see the audio spectrum down there. Looks like we're getting massive uh, harmonics every 120 hertz in the audio pass band.